This video is sponsored by Loop Deck. Welcome everybody to my office. Today we're talking about the Loop Deck Plus. What's cooking everybody? Dave Mays here with Kinotika. In this video I'm going to be talking about how to use the Loop Deck Plus specifically for video editors hey. and even more specifically for Final Cut Pro X users. You can use the Loop Deck Plus in a variety of applications, not just Final Cut. You can use it in almost all Adobe apps like Photoshop, Lightroom, Camera Raw. I'll put a list of all the apps that this thing is supported with right now on the green screen. See, side Dave is over there. Hi, hi side Dave. So why would you pick up something like this? Why would you spend the money on a product like this? When you look at professional colorists in Hollywood, they often use a giant surface panel that has all sorts of knobs and adjustments to edit their color correction. I was lucky enough to be a DP for a documentary that my dad did that went to theaters, and I got to go to a real color house and see a colorist work. He was never even touching his keyboard and mouse. He was doing everything on his custom panel, and I found it really fascinating that he was able to just adjust the sharpness and the saturation by just turning a knob a little bit and it's really a tactile and human way to interact with your footage. So I will say Loop Deck made this originally for Lightroom users. There's a couple of knobs and dials that I actually don't have access to. These little red, orange, yellow, blue things, I don't actually have the ability to customize in Final Cut. That's kind of a bummer, but I'm gonna talk about how I use this with Final Cut Pro X. At first glance, this thing does look like a DJ board, but it's far from it. This thing is not designed for DJ. This is actually designed for VEs, video editors. No, not, I don't know about that. But as you can see here on my timeline, this is a project that I did for my friend Brock Gill. He's an illusionist, evangelist, magician, incredible performer. And I made this promo video for him as a freelance project a couple months ago. So this is kind of what we're gonna be looking at in terms of how I'm using Loop Deck with Final Cut. This is a good example of what a real project would look like. So what you wanna do if you buy the Loop Deck in your Final Cut or Premiere user is really think about the buttons and the features that you use on a daily basis. The blade tool, the select tool, the trim tool, all these things are things that you can customize to the loop deck. When you get your loop deck, you might be a little confused, like what do I do with it? Because all these buttons here are again designed for Lightroom users and if you just plug it in, download the software and open up Final Cut, it just doesn't work properly. So you kind of have to customize it to be exactly the way you want. So make sure you download that loop deck app. So the first thing that I did is I wanted to adjust this control dial here. And with that control dial, I basically went to search for actions and looked up zoom. And I selected adjust timeline zoom. You double click the feature that you wanna have for that command, like so, and boom, it is now adjusted to the control dial. And boom, now that feature that you want is customized to that dial. You don't have to hit save or anything, it just does it automatically. You can jump over to Final Cut and see for yourself, when I turn the knob, it zooms in and out. And another cool thing with the Loop Deck, all the dials have buttons built into it. So not only is the thing an actual dial, but when you push it, that's a function as well. So I could sit here and go through all the things that I've customized here, but I really think every single person ha is gonna have a different Loop Deck setup. And really all you need to know is that pretty much anything that you can think of can be done with the Loop Deck. And if the Loop Deck app is not capable of doing the preset that you want to do, you can download an app called Command Post, which has much more detailed customization with the Loop Deck. I'm personally just using the Loop Deck app, but if you're a Final Cut editor, I would highly recommend downloading Command Post and looking into the customization that you can do with the Loop Deck. So for me personally, I am pretty comfortable with a mouse and keyboard in terms of selecting clips, going through all my footage, and doing quick edits. Edits. But the thing that I'm most excited about using with the Loop Deck is color correction and that's really where this thing really shines. And that's again why a lot of colorists use panels and things similar to this when they're doing color correction work because it's just a better experience color correcting with knobs instead of a mouse. Because when you're using a mouse, you just kind of slide around like crazy. Like I'm using a mouse right now and a trackpad. If I want to adjust my shadows, I really don't know exactly where I'm at. My computer also lags a little bit, so it's kind of like a guessing game of figuring out where things are. So now, with the loop deck, with my shadows knob, I can actually adjust the shadows, and it's very granular. I can literally feel the clicks as I'm 
slowly twisting this thing. So I'm looking at my exposure here of Brock. I now have the blacks at the right level and the highlights are kind of blown out. So I'm actually gonna pull the highlights back a bit, just like so. And with the loop deck, again, I can just really feel how amazing it is to adjust my highlights. This is a process that is a pain in the butt when I'm using a mouse and a keyboard, and I think that using the dials is just so tactile and so great. I love adjusting my midtones. A lot of people don't realize this, it's kind of a secret sauce of color correction. If you pull your midtones down, it kind of adds a kind of a layer of thickness to the image. It doesn't look as thin. That's the only way I can describe it. Honestly, Sony footage looks super thin and all you have to do is just pull the midtones down and then Sony footage actually looks like a Fuji or something. It's kind of magical if you start adjusting your midtones. So I actually made the clarity knob the midtones highlight adjuster and I want to just point this out. If you are a Final Cut user in Loop Deck, you want to have shadows brightness, midtones brightness, and highlights brightness selected as your mode of the slider here. So as you can see here, the shadows button, I have selected shadow brightness. The highlights button is highlights brightness and the clarity button is midtones brightness. These are some kind of things that you gotta just play with with it. I don't really like Loop Deck's naming structure that, you know, highlight brightness. It didn't make sense to me. I think the default for highlights is uh, set to like, just the highlights here as you can see and that does not adjust things properly you want highlights brightness to be the setting that you have set for final cut so now that my exposure of brock is set properly i'm going to adjust my saturation because i shot rather flat with this footage now the master saturation mode in final cut is too much it just makes everything orange and too punchy so what i've learned over the years that works best for saturation is actually adjusting everything except the skin tone saturation to kind of make the saturation look right so adjusting the highlight saturation and the shadow saturation makes the image look better without making your skin look super orange and weird so what I've done is I've actually changed the vibrance dial to be the shadow saturation dial slider and the saturation slider thing to be the highlight saturation. So I'm just gonna eyeball this and look at Brock, adjust my highlight saturation. Now I gotta pull my highlights down a bit because it's a little over now. And then I'm gonna boost my shadow saturation. That's where the magic kind of comes in. You can really see all of that goodness. Now I'm gonna pull my shadows back down a bit, maybe even boost my mids, pull my highlights down again. See, this is all just so intuitive and so great with this dial setup. I really love it. One of my big annoyances with Final Cut is the audio slider adjustment thing. You have to use your mouse and you have to click and drag it to figure out what DB level you want it at. That's the quickest way to do it. Obviously, if you want it to be more granular, you have to go over to the audio panel and then you could type it in. You could do, you know, negative two or whatever. But now with the loop deck, I'm gonna love using this. I have contrast to dial set to my audio levels and I can literally just dial it in and I can see exactly what DB it's set to. Negative two, negative three, negative four. I'm not doing like negative 1.3, negative 1.5. That's something that you're gonna still have to do with uh, with them you know with your keyboard you're gonna have to type that in it's a great addition to your keyboard and mouse it's not something that's going to completely replace it i can't only edit on this it would be cool if i did i think i would need a bigger system than this that would probably fill this entire table if i wanted to only use something like this and when you're dealing with knobs that are up here and down here and all over the place it's not as quick as using a keyboard and mouse so again, this is not a replacement to a keyboard and mouse, but this is something that can really help you, especially with color correction and with audio adjustment, in my opinion. Those two features alone are great. And even if I'm feeling different on another day and I am doing one specific type of task, I can completely recustomize this and save it as a new preset. Now Loop Deck has announced a new product called the Loop Deck CT. And it's not upgrading from this, it's actually kind of a side product. It's another addition to the lineup. Loop Deck is still selling the Plus. It's a cheaper product and it does a lot of the same things, just you don't have the screen and some of the new features with that product. I'll do a separate review of the CT if you guys are interested in seeing that and if Loop Deck wants to send me that product. Let me know your thoughts on the Loop Deck Plus in the comment section below. And again, thanks to Loop Deck for providing 
this system and for sponsoring this video. I want to thank you guys again for watching Kinotika. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. We'll see you next week. Drone shot.